Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy X, the HD remaster of Final Fantasy X, recently released. We previously left off here in Waka's house, so we're going to go and speak to him now, which will automatically begin the next section of the game. No time for lunch yet. Take a nap. You look pushed. Looks like we're going to have a kip first. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly. I'm guessing that strange light uh, defect was supposed to uh, indicate that Tidus was asleep there. But pretty unusual. I wish we could install this game. It's the one downside I've noticed so far. I get some loading times are pretty lengthy. But it's been nearly. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Do you? Do you hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. Waka? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, some of these loading screens are going to get a little bit irritating. Were they like that in the PS2 version? I really can't remember. Um, well, I'm just trying to think where to go because I thought that speaking to Waka then uh, would have done the job. But we're heading to the temple here. Oh yeah, here's uh, where we're supposed to be. Waka should be here somewhere. There he is. The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Huh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere, and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. Well, Tita seems to be acting like a bit of a nub, but... Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Right, so this is the Cloister of Trials. Quite an interesting place. Not much we can do yet apart from interact with this here. A strange glyph glows. And now we've got new symbols appearing here up on the right. So, okay, we'll go and interact with those. Touch the glyph yet. And looks like we can head down. There's no map here, is there? Uh, I don't think so, no. You must use a sphere to go any further. So this is part of the puzzle now. Glyph spheres open the way to the chamber of the faith. Okay. 
So there's different types of spheres to be used in the Cloister of Trials. And we've removed our first Glyph Sphere. We can carry only one sphere at a time apparently. But we're going to go down the stairs here and at the bottom there should be a door where we can use our sphere. Our newly found sphere of course. Yes please. Now the first thing we need to do is get the sphere back out. Remember we can only carry one at a time. Okay. So we're going to proceed along the passage and there should be a recess just here, yep. Yep. And we get some more wall opening action where we should be able to collect another sphere. This time a destruction sphere. In fact, no, we're not going to take that yet, but we are going to remember that it's there. So I'm trying to get my bearings here because I want to try and get this done uh, as smoothly as possible. Right, this pedestal here, uh, we need to touch the symbols on this side. And that will open another chamber. And this time we are going to collect the sphere from inside. The be said sphere, I think this one is. Yes, it is. So we're going to grab that. And we're going to put that in the pedestal right there. And that should cause some more wall disappearing action. Just like that. And now we can push the pedestal inside. Now, we could, in fact, uh, finish the trials here. But there's actually a useful item we can get. In order to do that, it's optional, but may as well. We'll get the destruction sphere that we left previously. Uh, and I think we're going to put it in here let's see what happens I think it's this right yeah it looks like we're getting some uh, action going on and we've opened access to a treasure chest Quite a useful treasure chest, I would say. It's the Rod of Wisdom, which will prove fairly useful for an upcoming uh, character. So, this isn't the only Cloister of Trials we will be doing, and there will be a hidden item in every temple that we encounter. Uh, interestingly, the six in total, that's the first one. If we get all six, we will access a very special prize. So definitely want to uh, uh, bear that in mind. And we want to push this to the end of the chamber. We can see the little flashy thing on the floor. And that should sink into the floor now, yep. Hey, it's gotten into you. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Oh, whoa, ah! Summoners go on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse. And who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, 
Might as well go all the way. Hey, we get a trophy for our trouble there. The right thing. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it? No, it's, uh, it's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. I is the summoner all right? <sighs> Who are you? Okay, so we've just been introduced to a whole host of new characters there. More importantly, we've been introduced to the summoner. Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. Okay, so we're going to follow everybody outside here. And then we're going to get some more cutscene action before moving on with the story, or with the gameplay, I should say, really. Hey, over here! Coming, coming. What? Ah, ah, ow! Wait till you see this. I can't see anything. Ready. Okay. And here comes our first Aeon. T, this is like there's a giant fecking bird over here. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. All right, just going to stick with the original name. I remember that night. We talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Wow, I'd have thought that everything changed 
after leaving Xanacand and travelling a thousand years into the future, but apparently not. The team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on a team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Uh, hi guys. Hi. So what's our goal? To do our best! <sighs> nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Victory! 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 That one or Rocky's head is so out of proportion, it's funny. Uh, right then, so... We can chat to these fellas now. Some information on the upcoming tournament. Well, not a lot of information. Keeper. That's the fella, the out of proportion guy. He's funny looking. Right, so we can chat to them all we want. Nothing too exciting. You sure got the boys worked up, huh? K Wacker doesn't have anything interesting to say. You heathen! Stay away from the summoner! You're a bad man! Lady Yuna, be careful. But it was really my fault. To begin with. Oh, oh, oh. I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkand. She's cute, yeah? Yeah, you can answer how you like her, yeah? Got no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. Okay, so I think we'll take Wacker up on his offer. Mm, ready for bed. Good. Sleep tight. It's the only way to advance the story anyway, so... May as well do so. And we get a dream sequence. Don't worry, it's nothing like the dream sequences you get in Final Fantasy VIII. And all we can do is head over here to Yuna. Where's that boat? Everyone will find us if it doesn't come soon. You really sure this is okay? Would you take me to Xanarkand? Go with me. No, oh, hey, I, uh, I thought, I thought Waka, Waka told you not to get any ideas. He did. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so you're coming with me. Hey, stop dreaming! You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! Oh, what's the matter? Gonna cry again, cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. Huh? What'd you say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's the spirit. You can do it. Okay, bit of a strange sequence there, just reinforcing Tidus' hatred for his father. Dead. He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full-time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really helped me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Okay. So we're awake once again this time. It's in the morning, so we can take control of Tidus once more. And we're going to go and speak to Waka out in the front. He should have some stuff for us as well. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa, you're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go. I don't know why, but this theme always reminds me of Ares' theme from uh, Final Fantasy VII. 
I really think it was inspired by it at the very least. Right, so once again we've got control of the party. We've got Tidus, Waka, Yuna and Lulu. And we now have access to the equip. As you can see, we've already got the Brotherhood equipped there. So it's goodbye to the Longsword. Uh, the Brotherhood also comes with the Strength plus 5% ability along with three empty ability slots. We also want to give Yuna the Rod of Wisdom. Which comes with the fairly useful Sensor ability. Well, actually extremely useful. Which will basically uh, give us uh, information on the enemies. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to head back to town. There's a couple of extra things to do. The first thing we're going to do is head to the uh, shop, which is... I always get confused which one's which, to tell you the truth. Uh, well, we've got the Crusaders Lodge here, so maybe it's in here. We want to speak to the sales lady anyway. Oh no. Okay, it's just the inn. I will save my game, don't worry, but I just want to get the episode done first. It's <sighs> right, because I haven't visited the shop yet, so these are all houses, I think. Um, no. Pretty sure it might actually be on the left, you know, this one here. Got that feeling. Guess we'll find out now. Yeah, there we go. This is who we want to talk to. Uh, I don't want to buy any of that. Ah, here we go. This is what we wanted. Information on her dog. The dog dug something up. And the first thing we need to do is go and find the dog. Trust me, this is a worthy little side quest that we need to do. So we want to head into the northern east huts, where the dog is. He's got something in his mouth. Therefore, has learned the overdrive energy blast. Definitely something we wanted to do. And if you do miss it now, you can come back later in order to get that. But better to get it early rather than later, in my opinion. So, okay, we're going to finish the episode now. We did quite a bit today. Hey, I just saw Tidus gliding along the floor then. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to uh, rate the video up, hit the like button if this episode has been enjoyable for you, and I hope it has. And post me a comment as well. Let me know what you think of the walkthrough so far. Uh, so far, I think we've done everything we could have done. And that is definitely the plan to continue doing so. Please do subscribe to the channel. You'll be kept up to date with future episodes in this series. And until next time... Have fun playing Final Fantasy X. Although, don't get ahead because you might miss stuff. <laughs> Alright, see you all. Take care. Bye.